I so I saw Octet today, uh, the Dave Mumbley musical at the Signature Theater. Uh, I actually I actually saw the matinee, but it's like super late now because I've been trying and struggling for hours to just form my thoughts together. That's how good it was, and I'm still probably not going to make much sense, but it's okay. Um. So, first of all, I want to brag about the shirt that I made. I feel like I have the right to brag about it because people in the show complimented it. So, uh, I also the back says Malloy Await. You might not be able to see it, but yeah. I'm proud of myself. Uh, but anyway, on to the topic of the actual show. Um, so, for those of you who don't know... Octet is an acapella musical, and it's about kind of like addiction, uh, specifically to technology and the internet, and there's also themes of like, d uh, debate, uh, like religious and scientific debate, um, tarot cards, all these crazy things. Like, if you're familiar with Dave Malloy and his, like, style of writing then you know that it's it's gonna it's it's pretty out there and it's so good i love i guess experimental theater would be the best way to to describe it i mean dave is my favorite composer so just i feel like he's just kind of a genre of his own and octet continues to fit his genre whatever it may be uh, but anyway so uh i went in Honestly, not knowing much about the show besides from the fact that it was about eight people who are addicted to technology in some form. That's all I knew. I knew who the cast was and I knew one of the songs. I knew Glow. It used to be called Stale Pale Glow, but um, I don't know. Dave performed it early or something, like before the show was even finished. And there was a video of him on Facebook singing it or something. I don't really remember, but I know that I heard it. Uh, but everything else was a complete surprise to me, besides from the little, like, teasers and snippets that had been posted on Twitter or whatever. I went in really not knowing much. And I'm really glad that I did, because going in blind was a wonderful first experience of the show. It's just so beautiful and so eye-opening. And it really just made me think about myself and my life and my own habits and everything. I don't know if, I don't think I'm considered to be a tech addict. But man, some of these, some of these songs hit really close to home. I was like, especially, um, Beautiful by Velma, who's played by Kuhurama. Um, that song, I was like crying. I was like, damn, it's beautiful. And I mean... I feel like even if you don't necessarily have issues with technology, I feel like just, I feel like the show is still relatable just because of the big impact that technology has on our lives. Like, if you're doubting seeing it because, oh, you're not a big user of social media or you're not sure you're going to be able to relate and connect to it, go see it anyway. It's just... It's so good and so beautiful. And yeah, maybe the fact that I did relate to it helped to enhance my enjoyment, but I mean, I don't think so. I mean, I don't necessarily relate to some of Dave Malloy's other work, but I still love it. Um, but anyway, um, so as I mentioned, it is an acapella musical. I'm like, I love acapella. Like, we need a more acapella in theater, in my opinion. And these, the harmonies in it were just blew my mind. I wish I could sing as good as these people because I would love to cover or be in this show or whatever. Everyone is just so talented. It was, I felt as if I was listening to angels. I was, I think. I'm pretty sure I was. Also, um, the theater itself is a very intimate space, and I was sitting in the first row, which also very much impacted my experience. Um, I mean, I'm sure you could sit anywhere in it, in the, in the theater, and still feel the way I felt, just because of how 
how small and intimate the space is, but like, damn, I felt as if I was a part of the group, I felt as if I was a part of the octet, as one of the friends of Saul, it was just, especially, well, I don't want to, um, I don't want to give away any spoilers, but there is this one song, uh, this one song in particular, uh, that, re this, it's a song that is sung by all of them, all of the octet, that just really, it's so, it's so, like, extra, in a good way. Um, also, the set is very minimalistic, it just has like a coffee pot and a table in the back and then you know there are their tables and chairs on the main on the main stage area so to speak and so there's not really much uh set or props going on so that means that when something does happen then it's just all that more extra uh there was this one scene that i was taught that there was this one scene where something something goes on with the lights. I'm not gonna say what it is. If you've seen it, you know if you haven't, hopefully you'll get the chance to find out. But seeing that was just, like, I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure if it was actually really that, that, um, you know, dramatic if it was actually that dramatic or if, I, or if I'm just being dramatic and I just saw it as dramatic but yeah I don't know and also every character was pretty relatable in their own way and I don't think that you have to relate to theater in order to enjoy it but I personally felt as if it was important for me to relate to this show I mean I don't think I would have liked it any less had I not seen myself in it but I feel like because I did I just loved it even more because again like I said it was a very intimate space and just the setup of the theater itself already made me feel as if I was a part of the group and then when they were actually started singing and I was sitting there relating to it I was like Dave Malloy has done it again mm -hmm. like beautiful uh the uh, Thelma song like I said, made me cry. Um, and on a lighter note, the, there's a song about uh, being addicted to Candy Crush, which is, you know, yeah, I get that too. Oh, or, or again, I'm not, sh I don't think I'm actually, like, addicted to anything. But, um, you know, I, I, I still relate to the whole, the whole feeling of it. Because it's, it doesn't even just, it, it even goes deeper than addiction and also talks about loneliness and depression and isolation and yeah sure all of the characters issues tend to mostly stem from addiction but I feel like I feel like if you've ever felt any negative emotion in your life you will love this show and I just realized how that sounded I swear it's not all negative it's it was actually very uplifting and comedic at moments I'm just saying it's um it's cathartic. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's not, like, this super depressing show that you'll come out of. Like, wow, I hate my life. I want to die. I mean, like, yeah, there are obviously a lot of sad moments. Uh, I mean, given the subject matter, I'm sure anyone can predict that. But, you know. You know what I'm trying to say, right? Like, it's just, it's just very emotional in general. And the cast was literally so, so talented, both as a group and as individuals. All of these people, they're going to go so far, and I cannot wait to see what all of these people do next. Like, and, a, and for a lot of these people, it was either their off-Broadway debut or their signature theater debut or, like, something, like, new for them. And it's, it's like... Please stick around. Keep doing what you did here. You're you're doing so good. Um, and there's also uh, a few people in the in this show who have been in other things that I'm familiar with. Like Alex Gibson was in SpongeBob, and he was also part of The Great Comet. 
and uh, I listened to some of uh, Star Busby's uh, solo music, which was also amazing. So there were a few people that I knew about going in, but uh, the, for the majority of the cast, they were completely new people to me. And I am so impressed. Like, I am already sold on all of these people just, like, five seconds into the first song. I was already... And I'm, I'm really happy that I went in not knowing much about it. Because, like, I'm never going to experience that again. Like, I do want to experience Octet again, but I'm never going to experience it not knowing anything about it again. And I'm just... I'm just glad that I got to, if that makes sense. Also, everyone in the cast was literally so sweet. Um, after the show, I was just kind of hanging out in the lobby, and pe and people complimented all of this, my my shirt, and um, it was like, wow, it it was crazy. Everyone was so nice to me. Like I'm just some geeky person making my own shirt and they're they think that I'm cool like wow also yeah I got to meet um Adam Alex Kahoo and Dave which was I love all four of them I was totally awkward though when I talked to them so I, I feel kind of bad about that but <laughs> it's okay um yeah they're they're such sweethearts all of them and like I don't want to single anyone out, but I am going to say that I have wanted to meet Dave since I first listened to Great Comment. That's not to say I didn't want to meet the others. It's just, you know, Dave was the one that I happened to be most familiar with. And I finally got to do it today. Um, I'm going to bring up my, my, my pictures of it really, really quick. Yeah, here's me and Dave. Oh god, that glare is so terrible. I'm gonna die. Okay. Alright, sorry. I figured the glare out, kind of. You can kind of see me and Dave here. Kind of see me and Kuhu here. It's, it's, it's bad. I'm sorry. Plus, I was, like, shaking as I was trying to get the, the pictures because I was so overwhelmed with everything. Um, but yeah. Anyway. Long story short, uh, beautiful show. Please try to see it. Please try to support this. Um, tickets as an hour are $35, but I think they increase in June. Not by an incredibly bad amount, but um, if you want the 35 tickets, get them now. And from what I hear, it sells pretty fast. So definitely try to, you know, act as soon as possible to, to see this. Like, I want to see it again already, and I'm going to try to... I'm going to try to do that. I might not be able to, but I really, really want to try. Um, yeah, because once was not enough. I don't know how to end this. Sorry, I don't, I kind of don't want to end. Like, I could literally talk about this show forever, but because I'm still taking it all in, I can't really do anything besides just be like, oh yeah, it was so amazing. It was so beautiful. I'm blown away. Um. I don't know. Just if anyone wants to try to talk to me about it in a somewhat coherent way, you can just, you know, use the internet <laughs> to, to hit me up. Um, like like I said, I feel really weird just talking about octet on the internet, but you know, what can you do? Um, 